So rigging mechanical objects is a little bit different and really a little bit easier because the objects don't bend. You don't have to worry about weight painting. You just have to weight each object to one bone usually. And I'll show you how that works and the easiest way to do it. Um, it would be easier if I started for this particular avatar to start from an avatar rig. You can do that, but just in case you're not doing that, I want to show you how to get it from scratch. So I've added an armature. I'm going to make sure it's set in front so I can see the bones. And I'm going to be adding bones to that, but first I'm going to try and determine where the center of this joint is. It's a ball joint, um, so it can rotate any which way and not really move in the wrong direction. So I'm going to select nothing, select this ball. That looks a little off center, but let's see how it goes. I may have to adjust it later. So I'm gonna go back to the armature, and hit Shift A, add another bone. And since my cursor is there, it's right there in the middle. So now I'm gonna get my cursor into the middle of this next ball joint. I'm gonna switch to edge mode, Alt left click. Select the very center. That looks like the very center. This this one's just a normal sphere. Go back into object mode with tab. Go back into edit mode on the armature. Shift S, selection the cursor. And I'm just going to keep doing that for each joint, and I'm going to sort of, as an artist, decide which where where it makes sense for the joint to be centered on. So for here, probably this thing. And also, as an artist, you're going to decide which objects are going to rotate with which, which bones. So it seems pretty clear here, but this is sort of an option. This thing could rotate onto the end of this maybe, but maybe not. That would probably end up looking bad when this stuff kind of bumps into it. So we can make this all one solid object and the rest of it's going to bend. So uh, anyway, I'm going to put the cursor here and extract this again, place it there again. And then I can do that. I'm going to look at, down at it from the top. And I'm going to do that. Well, I need a hand bone if it's VR chat, but you might not. It, you could probably skip this if it's it's not a hand, per se. Because um, VR chat needs a certain hierarchy, and otherwise, you're free to do whatever. Uh, and I'm going to actually delete these bones later. But this is a quicker way to. Um, Make sure they're all connected rather than trying to add a new bone and then connect it. And I'm going to add these bones here. And they're not centered yet. Get to that. And we're going to have to sort of decide where it bends. Joint here makes sense. If I can even find an object. If I press L, by the way, it selects all the linked objects. Um, so you can select entire objects. That'll be useful later. I'm, it's hard to see, but I'm just selecting the inside sort of gear there. I happen to have something there I can center the bone on. So now I'm going back to edit mode on the armature, moving selection to cursor, and I would just repeat that for all of this. For the sake of keeping the tutorial short, I'm going to do the rest sloppy. So. Uh, now on to the next step, is actually attaching the mesh to the bones with weights. So first we have to parent it, so select the mesh first and then the bones, and hit Control p and for this normally I'd say automatic weights, but that'll make it bend. So use empty groups, and that won't add any weights, but it will add the groups so that we can add the weights manually. So now we're going to select the armature and then shift select the mesh. And we're going to go into weight paint mode. Now we could paint it, but there's an easier way because it's hard surface and it's these separate hard surfaces. So I'm going to go into edit mode from weight paint mode and press L on everything I want to be part of the bone. Now make sure you control click in weight paint mode to select your bone. And then back in edit mode, you'll see that the bone you had selected in weight paint mode is selected in the vertex group mode. And you select 
the part of the mesh you want to be weighted to it, and you click Assign, and it'll assign weight 1, which is the maximum amount of weight, to it. So, now if we go back to into weight mate mode, we see that it's red, we see we can move it. You can see I missed one little bit, so I get that, hit Assign with the same bone selected. Okay, on to the next bone. Select nothing, press with Alt A, select L to select all these little things, select all these little things. I think I might miss a little, cause I'm gonna do it a little sloppy to get the tutorial shorter, but uh, hit assign, try that. That moves pretty well, the rest will move once you get to it want to make sure this is in the center. It looks a little off-center. So I'm going to move it. Go to edit mode. I'm going to try and alt select those faces there and hope that's more like the center. Uh, and I've got to go back to object mode actually, actually to get to edit mode on the armature. It's just funny like that. So if I hit shift S, put it to the center of the arm. There we go. This should be look much nicer. If not, you can just adjust it around manually. So you get something that works pretty well. It doesn't have to be perfect. But that looks convincing. So where was I? Onto the cables. So you can have some non hard surface things like these bendy cables involved. So what I'm gonna do I'm going to select the armature, shift, select the mesh again, and go into wave paint mode again. So I can do this. And what I'm going to do is select nothing, alt A, select this. I guess these little pieces I got to get to. And I'm going to assign them. Yep, I selected this bone. I'm going to assign them to this bone. It helps a little if you name them. And that's going to bend this, but it's not going to bend the cables. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, separate the cables from the rest so that I can weight paint them without accidentally painting other things. I'm going to select them and press P selection. I'm going to object mode. Go back over to this. The shift select again. So now I can weight paint them. What I want to do is weight paint them all red to the arm first. And then what I'm going to do, like this, I'm going to make sure auto normalize is on. That'll remove weights from anywhere else when I paint weights onto something else. So you'll see I'm going to paint like here, and it automatically removed it from that bone. So now it transitions pretty smoothly from one to the next. It's a bit ugly. I might want to move the rotation point closer to where it blends so that it uh, looks a little cleaner. And I can also, obviously, I've, I've m missed something in there when I was white painting, but uh, you can fix that the same way I've taught you. Uh, but first I want to show you Going back to this, the smooth tool, or it's the blur tool. And that will blur between the two, making it a smoother transition. We're just clicking it a lot. And that's a lot better. You may want to add extra bones to make wires properly, but this is a decent way to make things look a little more dynamic than just fixed static bones, which is going to be most of it. So with a mix of those two, you can get a really interesting style going, which is actually pretty optimized uh, compared to soft uh, models, and is pretty neat.